Hello students, hope you all will be happy and healthy with your family and friends. Today we are going to start, we are going to understand pictorial representation of what? Yes, fraction. Did you see previous videos? We have done three videos, part 1, part 2 and part 3 of fraction where, where we have explored lots of things. What a fraction is, how to write a fraction, name of fraction, how to represent a fraction and how, what a numerator and denominator is, was the role of these two numbers here as well as what a shaded part, what, uh, what an unshaded part is, what are types of fractions, then how to convert a particular fraction into some other fraction and lots more but for that you need to just click and learn previous videos you will get the link in the description okay let's start so we are going to discuss pictorial representation okay we will be discussing pictorial representation of fractions. So, we have, uh, we will be discussing pictorial representation means picture form may representation of proper, improper and mixed. Let's say for example, it is written 1 upon 5. So, what's this? It's proper or improper or mixed? What? Yes, it's proper. What is the definition of proper? The numerator is always smaller than the denominator. How will we represent it? So, for representing, let's take a chocolate bar and divide it into 1, 2, 3. Okay. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 parts and we have shaded one part. This is the representation of 1 out of 5, 1 over 5 or what we call it, we call it 1 fifth also, right? This is 1 fifth. If I say represent 2 fifth, then what you will be doing? You will be coloring this also and the name here will be 2 fifth. Right? If I say represent 3 fifth, it's also a fraction, proper fraction. So, we will be taking one more and it is 3 out of 5, 3 fifth. So, the name will be not 2 but 3, 3 fifth. Okay? Not 2, not 1, it will be 3 fifth. That means out of 5 parts, if the numerator is smaller than this, we will be just going to color more and more parts. This is the representation of proper fraction. Let's say for example, if it is 1, is it a proper fraction represented here or an improper fraction? Tell me, is it a proper fraction? What the fraction will be for this shaded part? We have actually how many total parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 total parts out of which 3 are shaded. So, 3 is smaller. 3 fourth that means it is a proper fraction. Right. Now, let's discuss an improper fraction. Improper fraction is always Improper fraction is where numerator is always greater than denominator. Let's say for example, uh, 8 upon 5. Right? 8 upon 5. So, we will break. We have two processes. I will explain both to you. One is just uh, as we have discussed, uh, mixed how to convert this is an improper why it is improper because numerator is bigger than denominator we have discussed how to convert a, uh, an improper into mixed so let's write i'm just directly writing uh, an improper into mixed so it will be 5 1 3 fifth this is the mixed for this improper 1 means we one whole so we will be making 
वन होल एंड वन फ्रैक्शन दैट मीन्स वी विल बी ड्राॅइंग टू होल्स हमें टू होल्स ड्रॉ करना पड़ेगा हमें ये कैसे मालूम पड़ता है कि कितने होल्स की जरूरत होगी हमें वन इज हेयर एंड वन फ्रैक्शन इज हेयर सो वन होल फॉर दिस हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स इट टेल्स टोटल पार्ट्स सो हमने टोटल पार्ट्स बनाए वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इसका भी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नाउ For the first one, this is one whole. That means we have to color whole, all five parts. And for the second whole, there are three parts shaded, three fifths. So we will shade three out of five. This is the presentation of eight fifth or one three fifth. So for mixed or improper. सेम प्रेजेंटेशन होता है बट बेटर वे होता है इम प्रॉपर फॉर्म में लिखना अगर आपको इस तरह का प्रेजेंटेशन गिवन है ओके नाउ लेट्स रिलेटेड विद सम रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल। लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल, यू विद योर सिबलिंग ब्रदर और सिस्टर आप पिज्जा हट गए हैं यू हैव गॉन टू पिज्जा हट एंड यू हैव ऑर्डर्ड यू वॉन्ट टू ईट five slices and your brother who or sister whatever the sibling with you wants to eat uh, four slices okay so let's say for example you want to eat five slices and your sibling wants to eat four slices that means total nine slices you want to eat total nine slices and you ask there how many slices are there in a single pizza you have got to know that a single pizza contain four slices so now think and tell me how many pizza will you order to eat nine slices together you both want to eat nine slices together so how many pizzas will you order if one pizza contain contains only four slices think draw draw on your notebook one pizza four slices so your sibling is done but you are left you will draw one more pizza but, but it is containing four slices you want to eat five so again you will draw one more pizza how many total pizza you are going to order you are going to order two or three let's see so what i did i have drawn a pizza this is pizza okay this is pizza kind of now a pizza has four slices so 1 2 3 4 4 your sibling is done with one now if you order one your only sibling will be able to eat aapko to kuch nahi milne wala hai to aapko thoda soch kar thoda rough work kariye that means whenever you go to pizza hut you should have a pen paper with you to rough work and parents i would uh, just request you to encourage them to just uh, like apply the thing they are learning when they are in some uh, real life situation where they can actually apply jaise kuch bhi hai jaise uh, aap is pizza chhod dijiye aap simple paratha le lijiye aap parathe ko bhi cut karke agar aap bologe ki uh, wo how many slices lena chahte hain to aapko kitne parathe mama dengi two parathe dengi ya three paratha kitne parathe to aap is tarah se आप रिलेट करके अपना क्वेश्चन बना सकते हैं ट्रस्ट मी अगर आप रिलेट करके बच्चों के साथ एंगेज होंगे स्टडीज को लेकर के स्टडी और दीज थिंग्स विल नॉट बी अ थिंग लाइक दे हैव टू डू दे दीज ऑल थिंग्स विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन देयर रूटीन सो चलो ये दूसरा हमारा पिज्जा आ गया है डरा 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 एक्स्ट्रा चीज टॉपिंग सो so, इस पे भी फोर स्लाइजेज हैं कितने टोटल स्लाइस हो गए बेटा वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो वी हैव अ टोटल ऑफ एट स्लाइसेस बट ऑल टूगेदर हाउ मेनी स्लाइसेज डू यू ईट नाइन स्लाइसेस सो यू नीड टू ऑर्डर वन मोर बिकॉज नो वन इज गोइंग टू गिव यू वन फॉर फ्री वन स्लाइस फॉर फ्री ओके सो यू हैव ऑर्डर्ड 
वन मोर पिज्जा नौ द पार्ट ईटन बाय योर ब्रदर वन टू थ्री फोर द पार्ट ईटन बाय यू वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव so total parts being eaten are 9 out of each one having 4 why did i write 4 because each pizza was having four slices and you both all together have eaten 9 so 9 out of 4 and how will we represent it here ye iska pictorial representation ho gaya aur ye improper form mein ho gaya ab mixed form mein hum kaise likhenge two holes are consumed do holes to pure khatam ho gaye है ना इस प्लेट में भी कुछ नहीं रहा है इस प्लेट में भी कुछ नहीं रहा है अभी जो थर्ड प्लेट है उसमें थ्री स्लाइसेस बचे हुए हैं सो so, आपने फर्स्ट और सेकंड टू होल्स फिनिश कर लिए हैं टुगेदर विद योर सिबलिंग एंड वन फोर्थ ऑफ द लास्ट पिज्जा सो दिस इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन टू मिक्सड इन टू एंड पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन right so this is how you represent a number with the help of uh, proper improper or mixed and it's a representation of picture in the form of picture pictorial representation right now if uh, like uh, if you just want to know how many holes i have to draw so what you need what you will be doing the situation is given to you like the fraction is given to you 8/3 right 8/3 is given to you can you convert it into mixed it will be 3 2s are 6 plus 2 3 2 6 7 so this 2 is whole here the 2 that means queen is whole here so you will draw two holes with how many parts three parts so one it's better to draw rectangles three parts we have drawn two holes containing three parts and one more hole containing three parts now it's a shading time shade it all shade it all these are two holes and we will shade two part because two holes and two third that means two parts out of three need are needed to be shaded so this is how to represent into picture again i'll say practice practice and practice to be best okay meet you soon with what we going to discuss in next equivalent fraction so we're going to discuss equivalent fraction in next video till then just bye bye take care and keep learning with me and math bye bye